All right, how's it going? Let's get into the basic installation of loot. So, you want to start out with is go to the uh, loot.github.io. I will link that down in the description. Click on download. It'll take you to the latest release. And you want to download the executable. All right. So loot executable. Now this will be where to install loot. Um, I have it installed in the same drive as all my games. So probably be a decent idea. And you want to download and install latest master lists. If this is for me, if cause I'm updating. All right, now with loot, you'll need to um, select your game. So you, you'll you need to have launched the game at least once for loot to find it. Um, so we'll just select Skyrim here. And now we want to update the master list. Um, you know what, before we do that, let's go down here to your Vortex dashboard. Once you have loot installed, see mine's already here, but go down here, add tool. New, yeah, and then it'll pop up, name it loot. Target, it should find it. Um, if it doesn't, uh, click on the little folder here and go to where you just installed it. And make sure that it is the executable, the .exe file. And save. And that should be updated on your tools. And it should pop up with a little loot icon up here. Let's get back into loot. All right, so let's open loot again. Select our game, Skyrim. And now we want to update our master list to ensure everything is up to date. Look down here, no master list update was necessary. Now that you've done that once, it should do it every time you open up loot. Sort plugins, no changes. And over here you see I have warnings, errors, messages. Then all my plugins, zero dirty plugins. Now you'll probably have some dirty plugins until we install quick auto clean and learn how to um, clean your mods. So, but anyway, that's loot. If we want to switch games, again, just make sure that you Launch the game once, and then loot should be able to find it. Um, this will just help out with things like, well, like sorting your load order. It's exactly what the thing's for. So, um, yeah, loot's pretty simple. 
All right, now that we have loot installed, let's install quick auto poop. So we'll go here to Nexus Mods, SSE Edit. Now it's manual download only. We're going to download that. Make sure you have something to uh, unpack the file, like 7-zip or WinRare or something like that. And we'll download that. So, what Quick Auto Clean does is it um, finds deleted references and identical to master records. So what deleted references are, are things that have been deleted uh, with updates and things like that. But a mod that needs it Uh, will crash your game without that. So, with deleted references, Quick Auto Clean will undelete that reference, but keep it disabled. All right, and then once you download it, it's going to be the seven zip file. So, if you want to unpack it somewhere. Now for me, I just unpack it in the same drive that I have my um, that I have my Skyrim in. Just the same drive, not the same folder. Do not pack it in the same folder. Do not pack it in with Skyrim. You just want it in a place where you can find it. Just not with the Skyrim folder, okay? So let's go back here. Um, we're going to go to Tools under Vortex, like I have up here. Now, I named it SSE Quick Auto Clean. It's actually called XEdit, but... The editing portion is for mod authors, for actually, you know, working around other mods and stuff like that. So we just want to clean up files to make sure that our game doesn't crash. So your target, want, you want it to be, um, you select the folder. You want your target to be SS Edit Quick Auto Clean dot executable. You don't want the SS Edit executable. So then when we run loot, our warnings and everything will come up. Now it'll tell me which plugins require cleaning. It'll Come up as a warning like this in yellow and then let's just say it was um, embers XD fire magic add-on needed cleaning so we'll go to quick auto clean embers XD fire magic add -on. Everything's clean here, but um, if it wasn't, there would be a little um, it would actually still be cleaning it and it'll update whenever you're done at the end. These little things will give you an update every 10 seconds or so, depending on how long large the mod is and 
how much of it needs to be cleaned. So now, identical to master records, ITMs um, are sort of references back to a vanilla setup. So let's say the vanilla iron armor does or has like a base rating of 30 and you have a mod say uh, that updates armors and now that armor is down to say 28 not a very good armor or something so the vanilla was 30 mod a put it down to 28 to you know, whatever the mod was about, this, that, blah, blah, blah. But then you get another mod that has that identical to master record that's going to bring it back up to 30. Well, you don't want that. If you wanted it to stay at 30, why didn't you, why did you even download mod A, you know? So what that's going to do is clean it and keep it, um, at that value that the mod set it at. That's really a very basic description of how that works, but as far as I understand it, that's how it works, and that will also help prevent crashes. So hopefully this has helped out a little bit. Um, yeah, and hopefully... Uh, Everything goes well for your installation of both of these. And uh, yeah, just remember after you install loot, update master files. Uh, make sure you're on the correct game. Sort your plugins. And it'll tell you your warnings of anything that needs to be cleaned. Uh, whatever it is, it'll tell you exactly which plugin. So just make a note of that. And you go to Quick Auto Clean. And then find that plugin. And begin cleaning. Once it's done, it's done. And yeah, pretty simple. And that should make your Skyrim run quite a lot smoother. So, yeah, again, hopefully that helps, and thanks for checking out another one. Uh, yeah, please like, subscribe, uh, throw a comment down there if this helped out, or if you need further help, or would like to see more. More little videos like this, alright? Thanks. Take it easy. Have fun modding.